Yo, what's up, everyone? Welcome to another episode of Shakiro's Shadow Die Twice. Hundred percent walkthrough on New Game Plus, and of course, if you're a new game, this will help you just the same because all the content are the same. Okay, so now last episode we've cleared out pretty much all the mini boss, all the new mini bosses available in Ashina Castle during this invasion, and we've got stuff some prayer beat hopefully, and then you should use them to upgrade your vitality and posture. Next, we are going to move on with the main story, and we're going to be faced with a choice. Should you choose the one? If you choose option 1, you will be granted the first ending of the game, but it also effectively cuts your gameplay by quite a bit, because there's still quite a bit of content after this point in the story, which you will not be able to experience. And, I've, and, la, and like I've explained in the end of the last episode, we are going. I've already back on my save game, so I'm going to do ending 1, and then reload my save to pick the other option and carry on with the game. Alright, with that said, we're gonna move on fo forward. Yeah, I don't really know why I didn't backstab him. Okay. Yeah, she just backstab him. Let's go to rest. We're gonna need all the healings we we can afford, so we can't afford to use any healing gourds before the boss fight, I guess. So I'm gonna quickly borrow down here. What? I'm pretty sure I could backstab you. What the hell? You know what? Yeah, let's just ignore him. Do talk to him. What? The one here and Lady Amber they are being targeted. Can I ask you to protect them? Okay, stop shooting at me. God damn it. Alright, from here we're gonna proceed with the story. And to our surprise. I remember you well. I heard stories of your death. Yet here you are. What are you plotting, Al? Dun dun. Plotting. I would do no such thing. Now, my lord, I must ask that you accompany me. This old bird has but one desire. To protect the divine heir from those that might take his esteemed blood. So, the dragon's heritage has seduced you too. And there is nothing to discuss. Take your leave. I would, my lord, but... I'm so stunned by this view. I'd like to take it in just a while longer. I'll leave when I've had my fill. Alright. So now you can walk in and talk to the father of wolf that we all saw to us dead. Father, to think you were still alive. That was my design, but the same could be said for you. I was certain you died that night. The power of the Divine Heir brought me back. That's it. What? The Divine Heir's power. He's really the tall. Dragon's blood. Look at the difference in height. Must be mine. Father. Now you see it. Remember the first rule of the code. As your father, I order you to forsake your master. From this moment, he is your master no more. Forsake the divine heir. Listen to me, Wolf. Obey your father's command and forsake the divine heir. 
Okay, so this is a choice between talking about you can either obey the iron code for sake Kuro or break the iron code stay loyal to Kuro. So this will bring you the first ending, uh, and then this will carry on with the story. We're gonna do this for now. As you command. In accordance with your father's word, you will forsake the divine heir. You understand now, don't you? It's just, so this is just another way to make you make, you know, to let you double think on your decision. I give you a second chance if you're gonna change your mind, which we are not going to. Yes. The code is absolute. I hereby forsake my master. The divine heir. I expected no less from you, my boy. This guy is so With creepy. This, our supreme reign will. Hmm. It seems we have a troubling guest. Oh no, it's Lady Emma. But to oppose the daughter of the late Lord Doga would be quite. Disgrace! But to Jitsu. Not bad at all. Wolf, I leave this to you. Have at it. Tear her apart. Well, what a lazy ass. Sorry. Leave all the fighting to me and reap all the glory. And yeah, yes, my notice, uh... I have witnessed Shura once before. The very same stirs inside of you. As such, you must be destroyed. Yeah, notice the katana without the shield. Again, you know... This is a nod to... The idea of battle jutsu and winning without clashing blades or you know using force versus force, just like seeing with you know samurai showdown, samurai spirits, the old 2D fighting game, Kyo, the blue haired uh, samurai in that game, uses a similar blade and he only uses battle jutsu or ya jutsu, the art of drawing blade and striking simultaneously. Also, I would say this is a reference to a very old samurai movie called uh, I think Lady Snow or The Vengeance of Lady Snow where, you know, is this a uh, female protagonist that, you know, has a similar fashion of blade and uses a similar fashion of fighting style. Anyway, so this fight is all about deflecting. Don't get, uh, don't get greedy. And then it should be easy. She has some... Um, yeah, that's like jujitsu. Don't get grabbed. It hurts. So there's a lot of uh, fast combos. If you do parry properly, she loses balance and then allow you to... That is a... Uh, that's you can Mercury. And he has a, has a drawing... Well, yeah, he has a drawing move where you can evade. Jitsu. Oops. Some more hit. Yeah. Run away from that. Some more hitting. Trying to break my posture damage. Whoa, that's a lot more damage than in new game. Ah, uh, yeah, that's cheating, man. Come on. Okay, couldn't outrun that. But as you can see, the fight itself is not that hard if you be patient and just deflect. Um, yeah, I just got killed by the battle jitsu, which. 
I, rem I remember I could outrun it, but for some reason I couldn't. Anyway. But you know, if it's your first playthrough, you're gonna get stuck on, on her for quite a bit. I hereby forsake my She is not an easy boss by any means, so uh we'll have at her again. Let us begin. Mercury's Astros. Her starting is quite telegraph, which is nice. The main problem is how to lose posture damage. Well, my posture blows up a lot faster than in new game. Yeah, just run away from that. Yeah, she has a sweep. Yeah, make sure you jump away. As you can see, yeah, she's actually quite easy. Just now I just messed up with the distance control on Battle Jitsu. Yeah, I'm nah, very sorry for King Lady Emma. She's such a nice character. Anyway, we'll get her back after the, you know, we revert back to the old safe. So it's alright. It's not a permanent disc. Alright, that's the first boss. Sekiro. Most unkind and inauspicious man. But for some reason, I could not bring myself to hate you. Oh, Ishin is angry. And rightly so, because you know, Sakura has been an ass and a douchebag in this, uh, in this See, version of the story. I must cut you down before you fall to Shura. Only got one eye. That may be a reference to Yagi Jube, I guess. Sure. Alright, so this fight is similar to the previous fight with Lady Emma, because I mean, Lady Emma did learn her Kenjitsu from Ishin. Except, you know, he does a lot more damage and he's way more aggressive. There is a way to cheese this, which is to use, um,. Shadow Rush or Shadow Fall, right? So this is basically a skill where you can stay at a distance and suddenly launch forward and attack the boss. And because you start off far away, the AI doesn't actually recognize as a threat and therefore does not deflect this attack. So you can do this and run quickly run back and then, you know, do it again. Rinse and repeat. However, because it's called Spirit Emblem, so you can't keep using this for both of the you know, for, for both rounds I'll fight against Ishin, which is why I recommend to only use this when you're about to win and just need a little bit of extra damage. Otherwise, learn the fight the proper way. Otherwise, you know, you are still going to struggle. Right, and um, and everyone talks about killing Ashura, which I guess we'll talk about after the fight. Let's just get to the fight. Yeah, he's actually very aggressive. Yeah, and that is a very fast uh, overhead slash. Yeah, he he does like a like a bob and weave. So carry that as usual. That's a... Oh, yeah. That is what you don't want to get. Heal up after he does the draw. And after that two shots, 
go in. Yeah, I always forget he does a counter attack. Need to watch out for that. Oh, I forgot to ma mature that. Running in circles. Had bad trap on that move. What? Whoa, dude. I totally blocked those. Yeah, he uh, forgot. Keep forgetting he dodges that. Oops. There's a timing for that. You have to dodge at a precise moment. Otherwise, it still gets you. Oh no! Yeah, I didn't expect him to do it twice in a row. I got to dodge, dodge sideways for that. What? was pretty nasty okay this is a less ideal healing count but uh, okay anyway so he will do a fire thing stand where there's no fire and hold block and then he will do that and then he will do that yeah you gotta jump a lot evade the last one you can't block it Yeah, and that, you should circle around him, instead of staying in front. Like that. Never mind. Yeah, you should need to get behind him. Yeah, the second thing about this fight is, uh, if you... If you lose at any point, you have to restart from the fight with Emma. Alright, here we go. Let's try this again. I gotta say, this is a lot harder than I anticipated on New Game Plus. Yeah, it's a lot harder than I played it on New Game, even though I technically know the boss and his moves and pattern and all right, that. Yeah. It's just that, you know, the sheer amount of posture damage that they deal causes me to, you know, posture break. Also, the damage makes the room of error very little. If you're not careful, you just get killed. Yeah, run from that. Lost hit delay. If you get the if you get it right, you push her to the side for some free damage. Yeah. Yeah, that was a uh, lucky that I didn't push it break. What well, mid combo. Whoa, I definitely I didn't think he deflated that, what the hell? Akiri! Yeah, run from that! Okay, use two healing good. Not your ideal, but yeah. Can't work with this. Just have to, you know, make less mistake on the next boss. Right, Lord Ishin. Sure.
Let's go. What? Yeah, that's not hyper armor. That doesn't get flinched. I just run in circles. Got very bad tracking. Yeah, posture broken. Really annoying. It's like you have to like constantly watch your posture ball. While also watching, you know, what he's doing so don't get killed. Broken. Yeah, when you hold it with both hands, gotta watch out for this fast over here slash. Yeah, and there's two hits, so yeah, just, just watch out. Top up. Done, yeah. Yeah, that's very annoying. Anyway. He's gonna block, deflect that. Yeah, run. Yeah, make sure you stay in the not in flame. And jump out of that. And then come back, do some attack. Yeah, don't run to the fire. It's not worth it. Even if you get some hit here. He deals way more damage than you. Run like that and do some extra damage. Yeah, only do it when the when the spacing allows. Yeah, like that. Okay, he's gonna do a flame attack. Yeah, make sure you evade that. And this is the best part as usual. Yeah, then you're gonna do that, run back, stay between fire, and then jump away, come back for the extra damage. Oh, oh yeah, I forgot to. Yeah, I was. Yeah, jump away from that. Safest way to get rid of it. Yeah, don't get grabbed. Yeah, that one's gonna be a big fire attack. Yeah, heal up. Okay, run back. Stay away from the fire. Jump away. Yeah, lucky that I don't have a good tracking. Yeah, that high hyper armor attack is so cheap. Okay. We're getting there. Yeah, make sure you don't run into the flame. Okay, this again. And jump. Get some free hit in. Akiri. Free hit. And ladies and gentlemen, here we go. Lord. Ishin Ashina Finally down. Sekiro, it was not to be. Sorry, Lord Ishin. I really liked you. Shinobi execution. Met without equal. Oh. Alright, so with that we get the memory of battling Ishin Ashina. Was a true master of the sword. No less so in his veil of years. Yeah, he's actually very old, but he's very impressive for his age, I guess. If he was a real person. Alright, and with that, you learn a unique combat art called One Mind. And for those of you, those of you that don't know, One Mind is literally the name of Ishin. So Ishin's surname is Ashina, right? Um, you know, in Japanese, we'll call him Ashina Ishin. 
And Yi Shen literally means one month. Yi is uh, one. And Shen is actually a heart. But uh, I guess they decided to translate into mind. I would actually call him one heart. Which is uh, more correct in terms of what Yi Shen actually is supposed to mean. Anyway. So a combat that unleash a storm of attack from Shi Stun so far that the blade is not invisible. One must focus their soul on the release of the blade, nothing else, hence, you know, one mind. In doing so, the strike achieved a godlike speed. This technique was conceived by none other than the old hand sword master Ishin. It's pretty much that uh, attack that he does you know, when he caused the whole floor to go on fire. Of course, you're not going to be able to get on fire, but uh, you do get this cool battle jitsu move. Probably one of the coolest battle jitsu moves in the game. And it kind of sucks, because you're not going to get it if you, you know, don't play the, this short ending. Duh, it took a while. Why don't you fight, dude? But it was well worth the wait. This guy is so annoying. Doesn't do anything and get all the rewards. Despite his age, few could hope to defeat a man such as Ishii. Stands in our way. Ah, Shida, the interior ministers. The whole country is ours for the taking. You know about that, but I'm glad you're happy. Yeah, this is like a dead repaid. If you notice, you know, if you catch my drift, notice the angle and the shot. Identical to a previous scene that we saw. <laughs> Why would you want that sword? Well, I guess it could have been Odachi, but you know, story wise. I would want to pick up that sword. No, you're. You can't be Shura. Sorry, young master. Sure, I am. Right. So this uh, is the short ending, Soldiers also known as the bad ending. Died by the thousands. Very few survived. Ashina became the setting for the most tragic massacre of the Sengoku era. And for a long time after, it was said a demon lurked the land. Right, so there you go. That's the short ending, also known as the bad ending. Sufficient name, I believe, is called the Shura ending. And for those those of you that don't know, Shura is a sh is is a short for Ashura, and Ashura is a term that came directly from Buddhism, right? Which uh, originated in India, of course. So Ashura is actually originally an, a term in the Indian Sanskrit language. What it refers to is actually a race of deities, right? In Buddhism, there are six realms inhabited by six different categories of beings. As a, right at the top, you have the heavenly beings, right? We can, we can call them the regular di deities. And then there's another realm called the Ash Ashura realm, which are also deities, but they are different, right? The heavenly deities, uh, which are Pretty, pretty much like, you know, your conventional ideology of, of heaven or paradise. You know, they enjoy a very good life, they have everything they need, you know, they, they party all day, enjoy food, don't have to work, no sickness, live a very long time, etc, etc. On the other hand, there is the Asherah race of deities who have 
similar appearance, well, some say they have similar appearance to the heavenly deities, others say they actually look different, some say the female looks very pretty, but the male looks bad ugly. So different versions of how exactly they look. But they have the similar lifespan, which is much, much longer than humans, with one major difference. Ashuras are hell-bent on war, right? Ashuras constantly seek war. They're constantly trying to attack heaven uh, and take it over. Mainly because, you know, in the story, we believe that um, the heaven has all the resources, you know, all the enjoyment, whereas Ashuras don't. And they envy heaven for what they have. So they constantly lead raids and war against heaven. They also constantly fight among themselves. So it's basically a warring deity race. Very similar to the ideology of the Norse mythology's, uh, you know, gods. Where they are sort of gods, but, you know, they constantly are bloodlusting. You know, they want war and conflict and fight. So obviously, for Japan to, you know, being a very... Uh, you know, being a race that is very familiar on war, you know, a race where, I've talked about this before, where they value the spirit of the samurai, you know, and they promote the idea of dying in battle or dying by sabuku rather than living shame and disgrace. You can see how the Ashura ideology kind of resonates easily when Buddhism was part into Japan. Although, you know, Ashura is not always a good thing to say, you know, in Japanese culture, but there were samurais back in the days who, you know, who openly, uh, willingly embraced the past of Ashura, which means a past of non-stop killing and embracing the violence and the desire for war and conflict. Obviously, you know, in this game, Ashura isn't portrayed as a good thing, but, you know, just to un help you understand where this idea comes from, how Sekiro, after, you know, making this choice and after killing so many people, turned to the dark side, so, so to speak, and became a human incarnation of Ashura. Of course, you know, this being, you know, when at the end where the divine heirs say, oh no, you're Ashura, don't actually literally mean he becomes an, an, Ashura, an Ashura deity. This means that he becomes a human who embraced on the past that is on the same line as Ashura deity was described in the Buddhist scriptures, right? It's basically a human who enjoys on killing, who kills for his enjoyment, not for anything else. Which is almost like a psychopath, you know, in modern context. Anyway, so that's a little bit of background story on what Ashura means. I uh, hope you enjoyed this, and if you do, you know, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on Twitch where I'll be streaming various games almost daily. And I hope, also hope this will help you, you know, in your own playthrough of Sekiro Shadow Die Twice. Uh, after this, I'm going to reload my previous save and go to the other option in the story and carry on with the main game. So keep tuned. Thanks for watching. Uh, Mibu Jinjiro out. And see you next time. Alright, actually before that, I'm going to quickly show you one last thing. So you have the stop playthrough number 3. If you choose not to stop. You know, New Game Plus 2 but pretty much what this means here. You can do so by accessing a large sculpture in the temple at any time. So we're not going to go into New Game Plus 3. I'm uh, just going to quickly show you the one mind combat art for those of you who are curious, right? Because you're not going to get this unless you choose the Shura Pass. And let's face it, Shura Pass isn't the most desirable ending you want. So okay, let's look at one mind. Let's quickly see what it looks like. So they look kind of cool, and if you charge up, uh, so he will first draw ones, and then do multiple light speed slashes, and then do one final slash, right? So it look like this, da, 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 da. and that. It's very anime-ish, right? It reminds me of Kenshin and a lot of other, you know, samurai-based uh, anime. We can talk to him. Yeah. It's nothing special. Should you ever. Okay, I'm just gonna quickly um, use him as a. In that case. Yeah, I'm gonna quickly use him to just show you what this move does. Come closer. Da -da -da -da. Yeah, it looks. It looks really cool.
face me again. Yes, splendidly done. All right, so it looks really cool. Um, but you know, come back whenever you like. If you have. The sad reality is, you know, that's because he's a training dummy who has, you know, very low posture and vitality. Uh, when you do those two mini boss and bosses, they almost don't feel it. And the one good thing being that, you know, during the second phase, which is the light speed circular slashing all around you, you know, if you, if the enemy is caught in the, they, they can't retaliate, right? They, they have to either block or, or, or deflect. They can't hit, hit you back, which allow your loss final slash or you know battle jesu slash to connect or to get deflected but at least you don't get attacked while you're doing it and also kind of because the whole thing goes all around you it's kind of nice when you fight a trash mob that you know kind of surrounds you however you know it is kind of not that powerful against bosses and mini bosses which is why um it's actually not that useful in the grand scheme of things Anyway, okay, so this will be the end of this video. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time. Mibu Jinjiro out.